Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am finally releasing all of the goods, everything you guys need to know about the Manifest Planner. If you guys have listened to my podcast episode or watched the episode that dropped on Monday, um, I also have a YouTube channel for my podcast episodes, but I honestly think I'm just gonna start putting them on this channel. I just feel like you guys all like watch the podcast anyway, so like why do I need two separate channels? So I think I'm just gonna put it on this channel anyway, um, starting like next week. I even got this new like fancy podcast mic, but I have yet to, I don't have like the stand yet. So I was on, I was like gonna hold it like this for the video because I wanted good audio, but I just think this looks stupid. Like I'd rather have it be hands-free, I don't know. So anyway, um, tangent, but if you guys listened or watched my last podcast episode that I released on Monday, then you guys already know all the tea and you guys already know everything about the Manifest Planner. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about or you have not listened to that episode yet, then this video is going to be so exciting for you as well and I just cannot wait to talk about it. So the Manifest Planner is a digital planner that I have been working on for the last year um, and it's a planner that I really created with like so much love and so much attention. It was a lot of hard work and it's truly like a labor of love and I'm just so excited to finally announce, launch this planner and allow you guys to get your hands on it. I highly encourage you guys to listen to the podcast episode because I really go in so much depth on that episode. So I'm gonna have that link down below. So I'm not gonna go in as much depth with the YouTube video just because I feel like it's kind of boring to just watch a YouTube video. Um, so if you guys wanna listen to that, that will have like so much. I answered questions about it. I talk about everything about like why I chose digital over physical for the first launch. Will there be a physical launch? Like all that sort of stuff is in the podcast. So definitely go listen to that. But today I'm gonna be talking about the basics, when it becomes available, how much it'll cost, where you guys can get it. And then I will do an exclusive flip through, which is the very first flip through ever of this manifest planner. And I'm just so beyond excited and I cannot wait to show you guys. And I think you guys are really, really gonna love it. So um, let's get into it. So the manifest planner essentially is a planner that I created um, over the past year because I have been a lover of planners for years and years and years and years. And I have loved so many throughout the years, but I've never found a single planner that had everything in it that I wanted. So I always knew like in the back of my mind, I wanted to release my own line of planners one day. But once I said it on my podcast, I got like an overwhelming amount of people that were like, please like create planners. Like I would buy them. So many people would buy them. Like, please, please, please. I need your planners. So it really was like my podcast listeners that made me really believe that it's something that people actually want. I went back and forth between a physical launch and a digital launch for my first launch. To put it simply, I'm going to be launching both. Digital, however, is coming first. So the digital edition of the Manifest Planner will be launching this Sunday, July 31st, 2022. Um, when you wake up, it'll be ready on my Etsy shop and that's where you can buy it first is on my Etsy shop. Um, it's honestly just the easiest to sell it via Etsy. I will have a link to it right here on the screen and also down below. Um, it's just etsy.com slash shop slash the manifest planner or something like that. Um, but I'll have it linked down below and it's just the manifest planner on Etsy and that's where it'll be. It's just, it's so much easier to be selling on a platform that already does an amazing job at doing digital downloads and where a lot of other digital planners already live. So it just makes a lot of sense to be there for my first launch. I do plan on having a website and it's currently being made and the cost of the planner is $19 and 95 cents. So 9.95 is the cost of the planner. And that again, it comes out this Sunday, July 31st. The planner is from August of 2022 to July of 2023. So it's technically like a student planner, um, even though it's not like oriented towards like any specific like lifestyle. It's not really oriented towards like students or entrepreneurs. It's really just a planner for anyone. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. So the reason why I chose digital over physical for the first launch is one, I could get this product out there a lot faster. This has been in the works for a really long time. And this is my first time ever launching any sort of product let alone a product like completely on my own. So I didn't want to have a physical planner release first without, you know, testing the market or having anywhere to store the inventory or knowing how many planners to order. Like I could do a pre-order and all that sort of stuff, but there's just so much that goes into it. It's not just like launching a product. It's really launching a company and a digital launch is a great way to 
take the first dive into that company and I know so many people love digital planners as well myself included it's the fastest way to get this planner out to you guys and I know so many people have been waiting for it another thing to keep in mind is that this planner as you guys will see in a couple minutes through the walkthrough is extremely detailed and it has 604 pages so it would be extremely hard to print a planner that is 604 pages without it being like a literal textbook so my physical planner will not be as detailed as this digital planner and it's going to cost more just because of the way printing costs are and everything else that goes into it like shipping costs printing costs inventory costs there's a lot of costs that go into a physical pro a physical product and there's less costs that go into a digital product which is why the cost is going to be cheaper for digital versus physical and you're actually going to get more with the digital than you will with the physical the digital is going to be extremely detailed it's going to be more cost effective and it's going to be available asap meaning the sunday for the physical i I do plan on having that pre-order by Black Friday so you guys can have it for the new year in 2023. Um, keep an eye on that for updates but that is the plan so far. Also with digital I plan on releasing like a lot of different spreads and you guys will hear me talk about it in the walkthrough but I plan on releasing like fitness calendars and content calendars and like monthly challenges and like wallpapers and like all this sort of stuff that I can release and create quickly and just put out on a digital Etsy shop rather than have to go to print and have everything be on like a three to six month month um like backordered timeline um so it just it's it's just a faster way to get from creator to consumer like right away so the physical is coming please trust me that it's coming but the digital is going to be first and it's more detailed it's cheaper and it's going to be exactly the same as a physical would be just on an ipad so the way that a digital planner works is you're going to have it on an ipad um, i get asked a lot of questions like can it be printed or can it be on like a phone or can it be on a laptop at this time it's not formatted to be printed i'm sure you can print it and just like staple it together but it's not formatted to be a printed planner but if you want to go right ahead again it is 604 pages so it's kind of a lot to print but if you want to print it go right ahead um but you can put it on a phone or a laptop. I honestly just think it's easiest to have it on an iPad because with an iPad, um, you have like, you know, you have a pen and you can write on an iPad. So it's kind of just having like a physical planner, but it's just digital. Um, so it's a lot easier on your iPad and you'll just download it from the Etsy shop and then import it into GoodNotes. That's what I recommend is GoodNotes 5. Um, I've used it on both Notability and GoodNotes, and I have loved both, but I do now prefer GoodNotes. I just think it's a little more user-friendly, and it's great if you're a student as well. I know so many people that use GoodNotes for school notes and also for like planners alongside of them. You can have different tabs open, and you can like easily flip through. So I really love GoodNotes, and that's what I recommend. So the planner is going to be a digital download. It's a PDF that you can write on top of that you'll download it from my Etsy shop and then import it into GoodNotes. It's super 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 simple okay i think that's everything that i wanted to mention before i get through the walkthrough it launches this sunday it's 1995 it's a digital download on my etsy shop which is linked down below and i think that is all that i wanted to talk through so without further ado let's see the very first flip through of the manifest planner all right guys this feels so surreal showing you guys the manifest planner in its entirety now that it is done this is such a dream and i cannot wait to walk you guys through with this planner um just a reminder that this is my first like planner setup ever so um i will try each time to get better at it um but i'm so proud of myself for this little setup right now okay like it's so cute um so today i'm just going to walk you guys through the planner through each page and um, what you guys can expect when you get your hands on your very own version of the manifest planner. So when you first open it up, this is what you see. This is your cover page. Nothing on this page is hyperlinked. Moving along. Um, your second page, this is where you write who the planner belongs to. I wrote a little welcome note to the reader. The next page is how to use the planner. Um, I pretty much talk about this very in depth in the podcast and in the beginning of this video. So you guys by this point should understand how this planner works. Um, but if you need a refresher or just wanna hear it written down, I wrote that here for you guys and then we'll get started. Um, like I said, everything in this planner is hyperlinked. So if you were to click any of these tabs, they will take you to where you need to be on the planner. Pretty much anything that could be hyperlinked is hyperlinked um, and we'll get back to that in a minute. So 
after you read the little notes I gave to you guys, then you go into the manifest section. Um, so this planner starts off with writing a letter from your future self. This is something that I did in the beginning of the year that I found so impactful and I think about it a lot. So essentially what this is, um, it's all explained over here and I have some prompts listed out here to get you guys um, thinking as well. But essentially what this is, it's a letter from your future self to your present self, so like today, and you're telling yourself all the amazing things that happened over the last 12 months. So, and that's obviously over the course of this planner. So think, you know, where was I 12 months ago versus where am I today? Where's my career? career? What, you know, could I wish I would have told myself? Did I start a new relationship? Did I end one? Did I move? All these sorts of things that you're going to write down here. You essentially write a letter to your present day self from the perspective of you in one year uh, and just tell yourself all the things that happened over the course of this year. And as you actually do this, I give you three pages to write. As you actually do this, you are setting manifestations and this letter is going to be very important and plays a really, really big role in this entire planner. So really make sure you set aside a lot of time for the beginning of your planner. And then from your letter from your future self, then you're going to go into your life pie. Your life pie is something that my therapist taught me and I bring it with me everywhere because it's just so beneficial to my life. So I have everything explained out here of what the life pie is and how you will use it. But essentially when we do the letter from your future self, you're writing down a bunch of categories essentially in your life that you're manifesting such as a job or a move or um, a relationship or it could really be anything, um, charities, really anything at all. So from your letter that you wrote yourself, you're going to break that letter down into the top six most important categories of your life and we call those your priorities. You're going to write down your priorities in like the and the percentages of your life that they take up and you're going to write one today and then in one year from today and these priorities are going to make a reoccurring theme also throughout this entire planner. So you want to make sure that you're really pulling the six categories that most represent your life and your letter from your future self. Personally, if I were to write my own life pie out today, it would probably be stride, my planner, um, my podcast, my family, friendships, and relationship, my health and wellness, and living life and enjoying life. So those would be my six that I would put into my life pie and I would divvy them up. So like, let's say um, stride takes up like a quarter of my life, I would do a quarter of this pie being stride. You know what I mean? Or if the other quarter is like a planner, then I would do half of this being stride, half being my planner, and then the other half I could, you know, fill in with whatever else I want. So your life pie is something that I really love, and I'm so glad that I was taught this in therapy, and I just wanted to include it because I find it so, so important. And then from your life pie, you're going to go into goal settings. And again, I have an entire prompt of what that looks like, but essentially your goal settings, um, you're going to take your six priorities and then write one to three goals per priority in time marks of five years, three years, one year, six months, one month, one week, and today goals. This is where you'd write down like if career was one of your priorities, you'd write career and then your goals right here. Then from your goals, then you go into your routines. Now, this is if you were having an ideal weekly routine based on your letter from your future self. So think about like what this version of yourself would do. Write that down in the routines. So if the higher version of yourself goes to the gym, let's say on Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 a.m., you would time block that out here in your ideal weekly schedule. If you have wine night every Wednesday night with your best girlfriends, you'd put that down here. Stuff like that. Now this probably won't ever happen, but it's an ideal weekly routine. And essentially what this is, it's just manifesting how you want a perfect week for you to look like, which doesn't always happen as we all know. Um, but the point is that you're manifesting what a perfect week for you would look like. 
So that's this. And then the page after that is your ideal morning, afternoon, and nighttime routine. I have this formatted in both a time block format as well as a list format if you work better with lists. And then down here, um, one goal that you want to achieve in each of your morning routines, afternoon routines, and night routines. To the right, um, I have a spot for your ideal workouts. Again, this is just what you would want an ideal week of workouts to be based on that higher version of yourself. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and then the weekends. And then I have that here as well with the ideal meal plans, um, just ideally what you would want to eat. Yeah, again, this is something not to get totally caught up on, but it's just another way of manifesting your dream life. And I love having it visually represented like this. Then moving on, here we are in the wellness tab. I have a couple of spreads for you guys. The first one is a grocery list. Now I included three pages of this version of a grocery list, actually four of this version of a grocery list. So this one is detailed where it says fruits, veggies, meat and fish, dairy, grains, frozen, condiments, beverages, and then miscellaneous. And then this is where you could write out your meal plans for the week and what you were looking for. Um, so I have this version and I have this spread in here four times, but then I also have this version if you don't want it to be separated out. Um, this is just like a blank list. And if you need space to write down like recipes and stuff, you can always head over to the journal where I have a bunch of blank pages as well for right, if you wanna write down any recipes or just anything that you need to think through. Um, something else that I want to include or point out is that everything in this planner you can customize. So if you want more pages of this grocery list and I only put in four of them into the entire planner, you can copy and paste as many pages as you want. I mean, just come up here to these three little dots and hit copy page and then paste page. And you can add in as many pages as you want of these grocery lists. You can actually do that to any of these spreads in this planner. So a digital planner is incredibly customizable because of that function. Moving on, I then included a workout split. This I kept rather simple. Like if Monday I was doing like glutes and hamstrings, you'd write that right here. The exercises that you're doing, and then you could come back afterwards and do a reflection. Um, so I just have this for each of the days through the week. And I try to keep this rather minimal and simple because I would eventually like to come out with a fitness planner in and of itself. So this is just one version of what I plan to come out with later on. So I again put three of these in there. I then have an ultimate tracker. You guys will see in some of my monthly spreads that I have trackers here as well. I have a goal tracker, a routine tracker, a sleep tracker, and a mood tracker. But I know that a lot of people also really like um, just tracking things as well. So I wanted to have another page where you guys could track as much stuff as you wanted. And again, just like with anything else, you can copy and paste as many pages of these as you want. I do have them in the month format. You can see that they go up to 31. And some of them I have a lot of lines, some only have a couple. So you can customize this and fill in whatever you guys want to track. Um, and really this guy's me. you could track anything that you want. And then I also have a content calendar in here. So this you would just fill in with the dates. I do want to come out with a content planner that's going to be a bit more detailed than this. But this one, you just write the month in here. You'd write in the dates. Um, and then I have a key. So if you like to color code things, and let's say you want Instagram to be written in red, you'd circle or color in the circle red and then write Instagram next to it so that you know what it is. Um, I have goals down here and then a growth tracker down at the very bottom for each platform. And I also have a weekly spread that's hyperlinked of the weekly content planner. And you would also just get to this by scrolling through the planner. So I have a weekly content calendar as well. So again, there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then with your key down here as well. And if you have any content and you want to like paste a picture in here, you can do that right here as well. So you can copy this and make 12 of each so that if you want to see like every single month, you can do that here. But like I said, I do want to come out with a content planner. So I don't want to go like too crazy on this because I know not everyone is a content creator. Then I went into a book journal if for whatever reason you don't want to track on Goodreads or you want it to be more private, um, which I know a lot of people like these days, like, you know, having like a private like book log. So this is a spread for that. Um, the book number of the year, the title, the author, the genre, the rating and your thoughts of the book. 
Um, I think this is so fun and such a cute way to track books. So I put in three spreads of this, but again, you can copy and paste more pages, however many you need. Okay. Then we go into our year at a glance, which is up here. So I love the year at a glance tab for so many reasons. Number one, all of the months are hyperlinked, which is just amazing. Um, but what I really love about the year at a glance is that you can actually write down something that's going on in that month. So it really is like a year at a glance. This is a great place to write down birthdays or if you need to write down weddings or big events, like this is a great space to put that down. Also, I wanted something for once a year things because there are things that happen once a year that we don't always think about, but we need to remember them. So things like your Amazon Prime payment, like for me, I know that my Amazon Prime payment is always in April. So right here, I would write Amazon Prime payment or like I always go to the gynecologist in February for whatever reason. Um, I tend to get physicals in April because my birthday's in April. So like stuff like that, just like once a year things that tend to slip our mind, but that happen once a year, like going to the eye doctor, I'm going in September. So stuff like that, um, that you do once a year that you need to remember. So um, I made a section for once a year, but I just really love this year at a glance spread. I just feel like it really is functional and it works really, really well. And it's just a good overlay of the year. I really love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And then after the year at a glance, we have journal pages. So I have two pages of um, lined pages. And again, these can be co copied and pasted. Then I have two pages of grid pages, two pages of um, dots like on bullet journals and two blank pages. And again, you can copy and paste however many you need. So that is the initial tab setup of the planner if we're going in chronological order. Next, let's get on to the months. And what I show you for one month repeats for the rest of the year. So I won't really need to show you anything other than um, August because they're all the same, obviously just with different dates. What I love about the month spread is that every day has a line so that if you're like me and you want your writing to always look like perfectly lined and centered and just perfect, um, this is how you're going to keep it like that. All the dates are hyperlinked. So if you click on any of the dates, it'll bring you to that correct date. Um, you guys will also notice it over here on the side that the weeks are labeled. So there's week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five. Now it's also important to point out that this planner is chronological, meaning it goes from one day to the next. It is a daily planner, but it's also a weekly planner. And what I mean by that is if you can look down here um, at the end of August, week five, it is also a Monday start. Let me point that out. This is a Monday start planner. Uh, but on week five, it starts on Monday, August 29th. And the month ends on Wednesday. But the week doesn't start for September. If we go to September, you'll notice that the first week of September is actually Monday, September 5th. And the last week up here is still week five from August. So just remember this as you guys go through the planners that even though Thursday, September 1st is the first day of a new month, the week still started on Monday. So I really treat this planner as a Monday to Sunday repeated 52 times throughout the year. And you'll see that in the order of this planner and I'll walk through that with you guys. So in your monthly spread, like I said, every page is hyperlinked and I'll get into the daily spreads in just a minute. Every week is hyperlinked and I'll get into the weekly spreads in just a minute. And um, on the left, you're gonna have a note section if you need to write down any notes. And at the bottom, there's a space to write birthdays, any important dates, like if you have a baby shower or a soccer tournament um, once a month and don't forget. And also any dates that are in September are also hyperlinked to that month as well. So this is your month at a glance again with the lines and it is just so cute and I love it so much. So the page after this is going to be your August monthly intentions. So I have this. 12 times throughout the planner, obviously one for each month. And this is where you write down your goals, what you manifest, your routines, and your trackers for the month. So in your August monthly intentions, it has a prompt that says, I have the opportunity to show up as my higher self this month when I accomplish these goals. So this is where you're going to write down those six priorities that came from your life pie. Remember this, this is why the, this is so important because it really comes back a lot throughout this entire planner. 
So this is where you'll write your six priorities and then one to three goals per priority that you want to accomplish this month to get you one month closer to where you will be in your letter from your future self. Do you see how this now all connects? You write out your yearly goals to then write your monthly goals, which we'll get to in a minute, which will then get to your weekly goals and then your daily goals. So this, you're gonna write down six categories or your six priorities with your goals for each to accomplish this month in the month of August. Then down here, there's a prompt of this month I am manifesting and you'll write down what you're manifesting this month. And then I love routines. You guys will see that throughout this entire planner. I'm like such a sucker for them. So these are your ideal routines, your morning routine, your afternoon routine, and your ideal night routine. Again, this is just you manifesting um, the version of your higher self and how this month your routines are going to look because I find that like my routines in August versus January, for example, always look so different. Then I have trackers over here. When I asked you guys what you all wanted in planners, trackers was like by far the number one thing. So I have a goal tracker and I have enough room for six goals. Routine tracker, in my mind, I thought morning, afternoon, night, or you could do morning workout night, whatever kind of routine you want to track right here, you could do sleep tracker and then mood tracker. And again, any of these things that I have listed out here, you can always just put like a white box over it and then write over top of whatever you want so that it stays more um, consistent with how you really do want to track your mood or anything that I put in this planner. It's very customizable. Then from your monthly intentions, we will go into your weekly intentions. So your weekly intentions is it again starts off with writing down your priorities and then one to three goals to accomplish that week that will get you closer to your monthly goal. So if your monthly goal, for example, is to make $10,000 that month, um, one of your goals can be to make $2,000 a week and that will bring you closer to your monthly goal. So that's kind of how this all works. You bring it from your year to your month, to your week, to your day. And then you write down this week what you're manifesting and then your ideal weekly routines because even though sometimes you're in the same month, each week can be so different for one another and I love routines. Then on the right side of your weekly spreads, or your weekly intentions, I should say. Um, I have your me weekly meal plan, and this is where you can track um, what you plan on eating. This is also a really great place to help you plan out a grocery list. And I also have the grocery list hyperlinked on this page as well that can bring you back to this. Um, and then your movements for the week. This is just another way of saying workouts for the week. I just personally like the word movement so much more than workouts. Um, and all of these days are hyperlinked to the daily spreads as well. The next page after this is your weekly time block, which I adore the weekly time block. It's just everything to me. So starting over on the left side, you have your month at a glance, any meetings that you want, um, that you have this week that you want to single out, they can be over here. If you're a student and like meetings, calls don't really work for you, you can white this out with a square and write over top of it and have it say like assignments or classes, tests, exams, stuff like that. So um, I have the weekly time block going from 5 a.m. all the way down to 10.30 p.m. So it's technically 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, and I have them in half hour increments. And this is just like the perfect place to time block your entire week, set up all of your intentions um, and just what your week is going to actually look like. All of these days are, of course, hyperlinked. So it'll bring you right to the daily spread of whatever day you click on. And of course, also in the daily spread, you can always get back to your weekly intentions and then just click over one to get back to your time block. So that is the time block. This is one of my favorite spreads. I just adore a good time block. And this is like the time block of my dreams. Um, so I just, I love this and I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it. It's so cute. Okay. So moving on, we have our daily spreads and I love this daily spread. It's a mix of everything. It's journaling, it's gratification, it's wellness, it's to do's, it's agenda, it's everything. So over on the left side, you have your date, your hyperlink back to your weekly intentions, a place to do weather. I don't know why, but I just love tracking weather. So I put this in here. If you don't like it, you can just put it out with a square, but I love tracking weather. You have your morning routine listed here from 5 to 10.30. Um, I just love planning out what my morning routines are going to be. It just makes me feel like I have so much intention in my day. And then I have a health and wellness section over here. So you can write down what you're having for breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, how much water you drank that day, and your movement for the day. 
Moving on, um, I have some prompts. So this is something that you can do in the morning. And it says, I have the opportunity to show up as my higher self today when I accomplish this goal. So this is where our weekly intention goals now come into a daily goal. So it's just one goal for the day that will get you one step closer to where you want to be at the end of the week. So just think of one goal for one priority of your life and write it here. Maybe this goal today is... Um, like let's say you have a podcast and you want to have two guests a month on your podcast, your goal can be to email 10 people for a guest that day and you know see who responds, so stuff like that. That's an example of a daily goal to get you where you want to be in the future. Um, and then underneath that, I have a section for you to write today's manifestations, affirmations, and gratitude. So what you're thankful for, what you're manifesting, and how you want to show up today as your higher self. I love having this here in the morning. It's such a great way to tap into your power first thing in the morning. And then a brain dump section. I am constantly using a brain dump throughout the day. Like when I'm on calls, I just doodle in this or I just write down things like my brain dump is like actually like chaotic and I'm glad no one sees it because it's a hot mess. Then at the end of the day, um, I have little prompts. So three amazing moments from the day. You could write that here. And then my best friend, Lindsay, said that I should have a section about self-care. And I loved it. So I added this in. This is my Lindsay section. One thing I did for myself today. So it could be like you washed your hair and gave yourself a blowout. Or you went to Starbucks. Or you took a five-minute nap because you really needed it. Or you watched an episode of Love Island because you're guiltily binging it right now. Ew, so cringe. Guilty. That's me. I'm like loving Love Island USA right now. It's like the worst show I've ever watched, but I'm loving every second of it. So anyway, that's the left side of the page. On the right side of the page is like our get shit done while our left side is like, "Mm, hey girl, you know what I mean? So on the right side of the page, I have our agenda, very similar to the time block in that it's 5 a.m. to 1030 p.m. So this is just a, um, agenda of your day and then here is your to-do list and then I also have another place for you to write down calls meetings appointments and any errands that you need to do again if you're a student if you're a mom whatever and if this doesn't apply to you um, you can always just write in whatever you need as well okay so there's a daily spread for Mondays Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays Friday Saturday and Sunday, and that repeats through the entire month. And then after Sunday, because it's after a week, I have a weekly review. And you can always tell what weekly review you're on because it will say it up here in the corner. And again, if you click that, it will bring you back to your weekly intentions page. So your weekly review, it's going to ask if you accomplished your goals, were your goals attainable? And really depending on this answer, you can adjust your goals for next week and make sure that you are accomplishing your goals and not setting unrealistic expectations just to let yourself down because that's not the goal of this planner. You can rate your week and then write down a small win from each day last week. And these days are all hyperlinked if you forgot um, what happened that week and you needed to remember. This is a space where you can write down how you're feeling extra grateful, what you learned last week, anything that you're feeling extra grateful for. Then on the right side, I have some prompts for you. When did I feel my best last week? When did I learn? What did I learn about myself last week? Thoughts to leave in last week. I love this because it's like closing the door on your thoughts for the week and just leaving them in the past and then bringing positive intentions into next week. And I just love this. So I always picture this being done on a Sunday night after the week is done and you're prepping for your next week. This is like step one of prepping for your next week. And then going into next week, you feel one, two, three, four, five, five being the best, one being the worst. And then it just repeats. So then week two looks exactly the same as week one. With different dates, obviously, time block, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you're back to your weekly review and then weekly intentions for week three. And this repeats and repeats and repeats up until the very last day of the month, which is Wednesday, August 31st in this case. And then it goes over to, I almost literally threw my pencil. Then it goes over to the August monthly review. In the monthly review, it's very similar to the weekly review. Did you accomplish your goals? What habits did you develop this week or sorry, this month that best served you? What books did you read? What were your three best memories from that month? Routine review, what worked, what didn't work? What can you continue doing? What can you start doing? Stuff like that. And then I also put some prompts over here, a small win from each week. And if you need to refresh it up on the weeks, these are also hyperlinked. They'll take you back to those weeks. And then thoughts to leave in last month. 
positive intentions to bring into next month and going into next month you feel. Now this is what I wanted to point out. So remember how this month ended on a Wednesday? Now if we were to go next, it's this is still the middle of a week. So if we're going chronologically, which let me show you. We'll go down here. We'll go to August 29th. So if we're in week five of August going chronologically, it goes Monday, August 29th, Tuesday, August 30th, Wednesday, the 31st, and then Wednesday night, you're doing a monthly review. Then you got your September month at a glance. Then you have your September monthly intentions all on a Wednesday night. And then you jump right back into it Thursday morning, September 1st. So what I really love about this order is that it allows for intention and goal settings and reflection in the middle of a crazy week. Sometimes when you reflect in the middle of chaos, it's honestly going to be more beneficial than waiting for a perfect day like New Year's or a Monday or a Sunday to go in and reflect. So then you do your um, Thursday, September 1st, Friday the 2nd, Saturday the 3rd, Sunday the 4th, and then it goes into your week 5, August slash September weekly review because remember this week started in August on the 29th and it's ending on Sunday the 4th. And then you just keep doing business as usual. Then it's September weekly intentions 1. And guys, this just repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats up until the very last page of this planner where you'll then have your July monthly review your yearly review of review, reviewing everything that happened this year. Did you accomplish your goals? What did you develop the best served you? Are you liking the life you're leading? What does your life pie look like today compared to when it was a year ago? And really, you'll just reflect on your letter. And then this is a thank you note from me. And guys, that is the Manifest Planner. All in all. I can't believe I just did that. This is so crazy, but there it is. That's my manifest planner. So what do you guys think? That's the planner. Um, I am so proud of it. I love it so much. I'm so excited by it. And I'm so like ready for you guys to get your hands on it. I'm both terrified and excited all at the same time for you guys to get your own manifest planner. Um, it's just something that I love so much and I can't wait for you guys to experience it yourself. And on Sunday night, I can't wait to see like all the pictures and the videos and the TikToks. If you guys just like making a cup of tea, lighting a candle, putting on a good playlist and just planning and setting intentions and manifestations and affirmations and gratitude and just goals and like, ah, I'm so excited to see what you guys do with this planner. And planners are so personal. They're like diaries and they're like journals and glimpses into our life. And I'm just honored to have a product that is a part of that for your daily routine and your weekly routine and your monthly routine and you guys know all about routines. So um, I'm just so excited and this planner was truly like everything that I could have possibly imagined and wanted and more. Um, and yeah, guys, if there's anything that I did not go over, I definitely went over it in the podcast. So go listen to it on the podcast. There's also a Manifest Planner Instagram. It's at the Manifest Planner Co. If you guys want to DM me on Instagram, I'll respond and put it up on the story so that I can save it as like a Q&A highlight. Um, but guys, that is all that I have for you today. Um, again, the Manifest Planner launches this Sunday, July 31st. And I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. So thank you so much for believing in me and the Manifest Planner. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Have a great day and I will see you guys on Etsy. Bye guys.